accident? Ellis Law is the firm to call. With over 25 years of experience and a 99% success rate, we can help. Call 310-300-7777. The ice cream vending machine coming soon to a mall or airport near you. See how it dispenses the perfect frozen treat in seconds in TechSmart. Wednesday at 5 a.m. Now at 1, the search is on for a suspect after a nurse was stabbed while arriving to work at a hospital in Panorama City. Good afternoon, this is the KTLA 5 News at 1. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Authorities say the brutal attack was unprovoked. The suspect is still at large this afternoon. KTLA 5 Screen Winter is following the latest developments. She's live now in Panorama City with an update. Corrine. And Glenn, that victim was last listed in critical condition. They increased security here at the hospital. There's also a higher police presence. The search continues for that suspect. I'm scared too. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared so much. A brazen attack, and of all places, a hospital. That's a lot of more securities today. A lot of more securities today. But the fact that it happened in this unlikely location may have helped save the victim's life. A hospital employee who arrived at work around 7 o'clock last night when the LAPD says a suspect approached that 49-year-old male nurse in the lobby of the facility and stabbed him multiple times in the neck. Uh, it's scary. Like I said, you want to feel protected, you come to the hospital to take care of yourself. And if you're going to come take care of patients in the middle of the night, I want to feel like I'm protected too. That nothing bad's going to happen. So it's pretty scary that it's happened right here. Close to home. This patient who was just released from the hospital today was receiving treatment inside when chaos erupted and he said the hospital went into immediate lockdown Monday night. They just put us all into our rooms basically and we just stayed there. Yeah. That victim received immediate care at a nearby hospital with a trauma center and didn't require surgery but had to be hospitalized. Officials believe quick action by nurses and physicians at the hospital helped him survive. The LAPD believes that suspect may be a transient who lives nearby at a homeless encampment. He was last seen by a witness running along Willis Avenue and is described as being 40 to 50 years old, about 140 pounds and has salt and pepper beard and a mustache. And police, they have not released a motive in this attack, but they did confirm that there was no verbal exchange between the victim or the suspect. The KTLA newsroom, a newly released autopsy report in the death of Nipsey Hussle reveals the rapper was shot 11 times. According to the coroner's report, the bullets hit Nipsey Hussle in the head, torso, both legs, and one arm. However, the coroner concluded it was the gunshots to the head and torso that killed him outside his South LA clothing store in March of 2019. They also noted that he died very quickly. Eric Holder Jr. has been convicted in the killing. He will return to court for sentencing in November. We have new details on the suspect who attempted to sexually assault a teenage girl inside of a grocery store. Deputies now say the 38-year-old Stephen Magdaleno is a suspect who tried to sexually assault a 16-year-old girl inside a state of brothers in Whittier. The store is located near Bullberry Drive and Mills Avenue. Deputies say around 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon, Magdaleno stalked the teenage girl and followed her into the restroom. He allegedly locked the door and attempted to sexually assault her. Workers heard her scream and called 911. Deputies arrived moments later and arrested the suspect. Young students at a nearby school say they've seen him many times before hanging out by the store, just staring at them. Nothing. He kind of just follows us around and like it'll make us feel uncomfortable. So and we like to go out a lot, so we should be able to go out and not worry about people like this. My daughters are older, but they're very alert. Um, they've always been brought up that way because their dad was real protective. Deputies say the suspect has a lengthy criminal record and could possibly be mentally ill. His bail has been set at a quarter million dollars. The search is on for two men who ambushed a T-Mobile store in the city of Orange, stealing thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. Frightened bystanders recorded part of that ordeal. KTLA 5's Alina Bobian has more. Hi, well, someone at the store says this happens every time a new iPhone hits the market. They believe they got away with about $4,000 worth of merchandise. And the worst part in all this is that the employees and customers, they were inside the store at the time. Now take a look right here behind.